Okay, so now once we've digitized those um, markers on the patient, the next step is we're going to go ahead and hit this button continue. In real time, it's going to transmit the data over to the servers, and it's not transmitting the images, it's transmitting the digitization point, so it's totally HIPAA compliant. The images stay on the patient's, I mean, excuse me, the doctor's computer. And in real time, what it's doing is generating the mirror image corrective exercises for her abnormal posture. And then what the clinician does is the clinician is going to come back and compare his examination findings with posture print and any suggested exercises to see if they are clinically appropriate. Most of the time they will uh, obviously be appropriate for the patient, but of course that you have to take into account the spinal x-rays in complex cases. So for instance, you can see that she has for her thorax, her right shoulder is high, that's a negative RZ of the thorax, and it's also translated off to the side. So you can automatically see that posture print has found the mirror image corrective exercise here. If I open that up, I can go ahead and change this exercise if need be. So you can see that it automatically prescribed the corrective exercise for the patient. If I need to make it a little bit more advanced, I can make it more advanced as it shows the, the standing uh, exercise. I can change the sets and reps for the patient. I can change the tempo if I need to. And then I'm going to go ahead and save that. Um, so then it will automatically update her postural exercises, the one that I just uh, uh, edited. And you can see that it suggested that we have here, we have six exercises. Now, depending on the um, abilities of your patient, you may choose to uh, only prescribe a couple of the exercises. Um, so say this was a geriatric case, uh, I could easily just eliminate, I could eliminate this one if I wanted to. I could go ahead and eliminate the pelvic posture translation exercise, just showing you that you can eliminate exercises from the printing. Um, and if you want to add comments, you can go ahead and add comments to the patient exercises. You can go ahead and look at the views. Uh, the beauty of posture print is it automatically prescribes the corrective exercises and the clinician only has to review those. Uh, it's a lot uh, faster than doing it on your own and each patient that walks into your clinic will get a corrective exercise program based on their abnormal structure of their spine and their posture. Okay, so after we're done here, we hit report. Now, what this will do is it will allow you to choose what you want to include in the report. I'm going to go ahead and include everything in the report. So you can see here I'm going to do the title page, the posture index, which is a, um, a number-based scale based on the patient's range of motion for their height and their abnormal postural displacement within that range of motion, um, their exercise schedule, uh, descriptions of how to do the exercise. And if you're billing this to third party, uh, like the insurance companies, um, <clears throat> you can go ahead and include a medical necessity for uh, this postural examination. What's nice about posture print is that is totally supported by the literature. We have validity studies and reliability study that just came out in chiropractic and osteopathy and those are index medicus journals. Uh, this is the only type of posture software available to clinicians that is computer based, uh, that is computer friendly for the average person that is validated with such studies. So moving in, let's go ahead and show how we can generate the report. So we hit continue here, and it's going to generate a PDF document for the patient. This is very powerful, not only for a um, ability to show the patient exactly how abnormal their structure is, because a lot of times patients don't understand just an x-ray. But when you compare the x-ray and the posture, i.e. the structure of their posture is the structure of their spine, um, it's much more powerful in getting the patient to understand what their spinal displacements are. And when you combine this with something like uh, the x-ray report from the posture ray software from PostureCo, it's quite powerful. So let me shrink this window down so you can see exactly that PDF that has been generated. 